courage. Enable the power. We stand for integrity, integrity. honesty, self-reliance, self-defense, self and most importantly, no compromise on our foundational principles. This is America's Voice Now. Find America's Voice Now on Facebook and at americasvoicenow.org. Here's Michael Evans. Good morning, America. You're listening to America's Voice Now. My name is Michael Evans. I'll be your host this morning. Come to think of it, I think I'm your host every morning, aren't I? You know, I want to talk about a couple of different things this morning, including um, one which is near and dear to my heart and uh, perhaps yours. <clears throat> uh, there are going to be uh, some changes in reference to uh, America's Voice coming up, and I want to keep you informed and educated about what's transpiring, and I'm going to enlist your help and assistance. A lot of folks come up to me and say, how can we help? What can, I, what can I do? What can we do as individuals? Well, we have an opportunity to um, expand AVN to uh, not only other radio stations, but also uh, to kind of um, be able to broadcast the show uh, in a couple of other different ways. And so I'm going to uh, ask for our listenership to support and assist us in that effort. Um, we need to uh, we need to be able to expand the voice of AVN so that more folks can understand exactly what's wrong with our nation and where we're headed, and uh, hopefully rise up and act as a bulwark against that kind of uh, loss of our republic. And uh, I know many of you have supported this effort uh, greatly, and uh, not only with your uh, with your uh, words and your deeds and your actions, but also in some cases financially. And I'm very, very grateful to those of you who have done that. I, ge I generally don't like the idea of talking about uh, uh, support and donations financially uh, because I don't ever want anyone to believe or think that the purpose of America's Voice is about monetary issues. Most of you know that I do this as a voluntary effort and that um, this isn't related at all to uh, to me making a living or anything along those lines. Um, I generally keep all of that stuff outside of the purview or, or the involvement. I keep a pretty clear separation there. In fact, I don't even talk about what I do for a living. Um, it's clearly not this. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> but the issue of what, uh, what what's transpiring is that we have an opportunity to expand the program uh, in working in concert with a, a couple of other uh, radio hosts, and I want to bring to the table an opportunity to uh, that I think you folks can help with. And in fact, I'm going to need your help. Uh, the first requirement is that we'll, it will require that we we create and build a a studio, um, and there are a couple of reasons for that, and a couple of reasons for the preparation of that. But it will require that we build a studio and obtain some equipment that would enable us to be able to connect to other networks so that this show can be broadcast not just locally but also on multiple show or multiple other stations and so the purpose behind this is to uh, essentially give us the wherewithal and the ability to um, not only broadcast locally but expand <clears throat> as a result um, I've got to build a studio and in order to do that, I need some equipment. I already have a lot of what I need, but there are certain things I don't have, including some of the more technical aspects, boards and phone systems and microphones and all the normal accoutrements that go with a radio studio. And they're not inexpensive. Uh, they're not outrageously expensive in the overall scheme of things, but they are not free, and they are not something which I can afford individually. Uh, we have a budget of about $7,000 is what we'll need to raise, and I'm going to ask that you folks assist in that in that effort. Um, I don't normally put a plea out there for monetary support because I don't think that that's what's really important here, but at this point, uh, I'm going to have to, and um, you'll forgive me if I do. So essentially, um, the idea is to 
build and create a studio that will enable us to have the same capabilities we have here uh, and yet to be able to continue the broadcasting that we're doing here but also offer the show to uh, other listeners in a couple of other ways. The first uh, two will be a, uh, applications that can be run on a phone, um, I, either an iPhone or an Android application or an iPhone type application. And the reason behind that is because there are a lot of folks that either don't have access to a radio uh, or don't aren't in our broadcast area and would like to hear the show. I've gotten numerous requests over time for the ability for folks to stream uh, the show live on their on their mobile phones. The second issue is it will allow us to have what's called a call in number that can support between one and say five thousand people. It doesn't matter how many call in. It's a one way call in line, but it's a listening line. And so it'll enable folks to call in and literally just listen. So if you've got your mobile phone and you're at work, you'll be able to dial into the to the uh, telephone number and literally listen to the show over the phone. If you don't have you know a, a smartphone, as an example, and you can't download an application, will also enable us to um, expand the 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 reach of AVN because one of the things that we're working to develop with a number of other radio hosts is the idea that we can. Um, build a site where uh, we can have streaming radio, uh, streaming video, uh, and audio for those folks who want to hear not just America's Voice Now, but other guests and hosts as well. Uh, so we're in, we're in discussion with a number of other hosts, uh, some of whom you know, and some of whom you may already listen to. Uh, Joyce Riley and and uh, Beth Ann from, uh, from the uh, Common Sense Coalition, uh, Sam Bushman, who's a gentleman that you don't know, but uh, I'm I'm uh, very impressed with, and, and I'm, I really like his show. I like what he does, and he's a very unusual and and, and an awesome fellow. Uh, but he he lives in Utah, and he doesn't broadcast in this area, so you never have an opportunity to hear him. Uh, Vince Finelli, out in out in uh, Springfield, as an example, who I did an interview with over the course of the week. So the upshot is that there are a lot of opportunities for us to be able to expand the reach and the depth and the breadth and the scope of what America's Voice Now can do and do that in concert where you can't uh, you, or you'll have an opportunity to hear other people, not just America's Voice. So the idea is to build a site where we can stream not only my show, but also uh, many other hosts as well, all of whom will either have to be pre-selected and hand-picked or they won't go on the program. In other words, the goal is not to add the mainstream media guys who are already out there doing what they're doing and are making phenomenal money for it. And quite frankly, in my opinion, many of them have already been compromised because of that. And so what we need are patriots. You hear me say this about individuals all the time. We need patriotic Americans to stand up and be citizen legislators, to step into the role of being an active participant in our republic and say, I'm going to run for school board. I'm going to run for the city council. I'm going to run for the county commissioner seat. I'm going to run for state house or state senate. I'm going to run for federal office where I can make a difference, and yet I'm only going to run with the right intention. I'm going to get in there, do my job, and then get out before I get an opportunity to be to be compromised and to be corrupted. That's what we need in America. I can't run for office. I can't run for office and be on the radio. Those two things cannot happen simultaneously. There are laws against it. And so, and quite frankly, I think I can do more quote unquote damage here on the radio. And so one of the ways that, that I can, I can participate in the movement is by doing exactly what I'm doing here. But in order for that to be effective, we have to expand it and, and get in listenership across the nation. You know, there are a lot of folks that capture and watch our streaming show every single day. I get emails from folks in Texas and Seattle and even Maine. Uh, I, get folk, I get emails from folks who live in, believe it or not, England who watch the show. Now, they capture it on YouTube because they're timing, uh, you know, at, at, right now it's mid-afternoon over there. But... <clears throat> The point is that we have a lot of folks that listen every single day to the program and we could capture a lot more listeners and drive a lot more activity, a lot more education, a lot more information if we could expand the program. So what we're going to do is uh, ask for your assistance and support and um, I'm going to, uh, to point you to a direction on our website where you can, uh, you can help us and, and drive some of the activity here. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'll give you some instructions on how you can participate and how you can help. 
and uh, I'll ask for your input as well because um, while I have a couple of I you know I, great ideas about how to make this work, I'm certainly not uh, uh, close-minded to hearing from those who have uh, alternate suggestions as well or helpful additions. So um, you're listening to America's Voice. We'll be back in just a moment, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Last time on The Dennis Miller Show. I, honest to God, don't have an idea on now uh, if the media knows that they're in the bag. They must, right? Or they're really looking at this presidency and thinking this is working. I'm fascinated by that, and I can't tell you how far I am from an answer because nobody over there is going to rat themselves. I almost wish that somebody would just come out, uh, somebody I respected, and say, yeah, of course we're in the bag. Weekdays from 9 till noon is the Dennis Miller Zone on the Ozarks Best News Talk 1071. There's one man on this earth who really, truly gets it. I was never into this democracy project. I'm into the American project, just like the founders. The American project is this. We take steps overseas, military steps that are intended to preserve America, preserve our allies, and in some cases that are extraordinary, really touch the soul of the nation. Yes, humanitarian steps too. Weeknights from 5 till 8, Mark Levin on the Ozarks Best News Talk 1071. All right, we're back. Thanks for sticking with us through that uh, moment of pure capitalism. Um, we're also going to change our uh, timing format here over the course of the next uh, couple of days. One of the things that we're going to do uh, to prepare the show for a broader distribution is to change the, uh, the location of where commercials reside. And essentially, we're going to split the show from four segments into two segments. And um, as soon as uh, we, we prepare the, the system to be able to handle that, we'll be making that change probably this week. And so what we're going to do is run from uh, a few minutes after 8, after the news and sports weather and the network updates and all those kinds of things, and we're going to run it straight down to the bottom of the half hour. Uh, we'll ha- take a break at the bottom of the half hour, and you'll have an opportunity to listen to all of our sponsors, and then we'll go back up to the top of the hour. The goal of that is it makes the uh, program easier to uh, to get out there on the uh, onto other stations, and um, it enables our clock to be in sync with what uh, other programs and other stations are doing, so that when they uh, when they capture and pick up the show, they can insert their commercials in the right places and those types of things. That's how syndication works. Uh, essentially, you have an opportunity to. Um, that local station, wherever it may be, whether it's in Boise, Idaho, or Miami, Florida, inserts their commercials in the commercial breaks. They don't hear our commercials. They hear their local commercials. And so if you're in Miami, you're getting a car dealer commercial or whatever is local down in that area. And so by changing our clock, what we call the clock, we'll be able to um, uh, offer the show across the board to a broader audience and have uh, uh, be in more in sync with the, the uh other radio programs that are out there that well uh, may well carry AVN. So, um, you know, I've been talking to some friends about this. You know, I've, I've talked to some of our, our uh, uh, friends who participate with us here in the show, and I've, I've had some discussion with a lot of folks about it. And I, <clears throat> I, I really am very uncomfortable with the idea of bringing financial uh, requirements into the program because I never want anyone to – this is not a – this is not a canvas tent set up out in the middle of the field somewhere right outside of town where we do some kind of uh, fast uh, dance shuffle. You know, I've been doing this program for two years. I've done it purely as, an, as a voluntary issue. The station has never paid me for, for uh, the time that we do here. And we don't retain any of the revenue that comes in from commercials. That all goes to the station and it covers the costs that are associated with this program. The rest I pay out of pocket, and they're pretty substantial. Cost me almost about a thousand dollars a month to run this program, and so personally, and that doesn't count my time. That's just actual hard cost, and so um, I'm going to ask our listeners to help us by stepping up to the plate and uh, making you know. And I get it; many of you are going to have difficulty uh, doing that because you you just don't have the financial wherewithal. Um, I can only tell you that even the widows might will help, 
And so um, uh, there's a couple of ways that you can do that. The first thing that you can do is you can go to our site, americasvoicenow.org. And uh, right there on the right-hand side, a little bit down the page, there's a, there's a couple of buttons there. One is to make a one-time donation that you can uh, that will be used and dedicated for the purposes of, of the studio application. The other one is uh, that you can make a kind of a pledge that's an ongoing uh, pledge that occurs every month. And um, uh, the purpose behind both of those is so that uh, we can build this studio and uh, get the show moving up, if you will, into broader horizons. Uh, if you donate uh, by clicking on the support AVN button, you can make a one-time donation. And uh, whether it's $5 or $500 or you know more, uh, I'd be extraordinarily grateful and thankful to you for accomplishing that. You can also be a sponsor, which means that you would dedicate a specific amount monthly, $5, $10, $25, whatever that, whatever that sponsorship would entail. And by doing that, it automatically will take it out of a, either a PayPal account or a credit card or whatever, whatever method you, use to, you choose to make that payment through. Um, the budget for this is somewhere in around about the $7,000, $7,500 mark. It's not finalized yet, but that's essentially where we're at. And I'll be more than happy to put up a uh, some kind of a gauge so that folks know exactly how close we've achieved or how close we've gotten to that. There's also another way that you can participate if you want to do so anonymously and or you don't use credit cards and or you don't use uh, PayPal or anything along those lines. There's two different ways that you can accomplish that. You can uh, take uh, either drop funds off here at the radio station and you can simply put an envelope out here with my name on it. Uh, or the show America's Voice Now, and uh, the folks here at the station will take that uh, and put it aside, and we'll make sure that we get it into our bank. The other way that you can do so is, and I'm going to work with uh, the bank here in town, the West Plains Bank. If you want to come in, uh, we're going to set up a, a program where you can come in and just literally make a donation right at the bank, and it will get automatically deposited into the account where the funds will be drawn from. Um, I think you all know me well enough to know that you know, you can count on this money being used properly. I don't ever misuse uh, the donations that do come in. Those aren't my living expenses. Those cover the expenses of the program. And uh, I'll be more than happy to post some sort of an accounting up there so that people feel as if they have some methodology or way to uh, track the expenditures and how close we've achieved to reaching the budget dollars and so forth and so on. Um, I'm calling on you because you are the friends and the supporters and the listeners who have made this program operate. And you're the reason why I do this show. You know, I go out to meetings all the time and I speak to folks at different property rights meetings or different political rallies or different rallies that are held and events that are held all over. I bump into people in a store I go into and they walk up and they say, thank you very much for what you're doing. And I, I'm, I am so touched by that. Um, and, and that not because it's some personal ego thing for me, but because what it means is that people are rallying to the cry that this message that we're issuing here is resonating with people, that they get it, that they need someone to be, to, to be the voice for them. You know, a lot of times people say to me, man, I, I just love what you do. I just can't. And, and I, I, you, you say what I'm thinking, but I just don't know how to put it into words. And I, I got to tell you, I think that's probably the most common thing that people say to me is that, you know, you say what I want to say, but I just don't know how to say it. And, you know, the, the importance of that and how gratifying that is to understand that I'm speaking as a representative for people's feelings and thoughts and concerns um, is is. It's an important aspect. Somebody's got to speak out. Somebody's got to raise the alarm. Somebody's got to be Paul Revere, standing on the peak of the roof, shouting from the rooftops, we're in trouble. Please, someone wake up. And that's the mission that we've, that we've taken on here. And so I'm, I'm asking you to be a part of that. I'm asking you to participate in it. If you want to do it anonymously, that's wonderful. If you want us to be able to uh, put your name on that, then please make sure that you let us know. And we will uh, put up a list of, of sponsors who have uh, made different donations uh, 
in reference to this project. If you want to keep your name out of it, that's fine too. I don't, you know, that's entirely up to you and that's your choice. Um, you know, I, this has never been about uh, financial issues, but it is about getting the message out. And so uh, if anything that you folks can can feel that you can do, uh, that's that's really where we're at. If you can hold a fundraiser, if you can raise money in some way, hold a bake sale, run a tent at a at a local uh, event that's coming up in your community or in your town. Um, if there's a way that you can do that and then take the proceeds of that so you don't have to take money out of your pocket, that's great. Let's be creative about it and let's make sure that we're building uh, this in a way that is, one, fiscally responsible and frugal and secondarily functional. And so um, I'm appealing to our listenership, I'm appealing to our friends, I'm appealing to our supporters, and I'm asking you to... Uh, to help us in this effort. So we're going to take a couple of phone calls. I'll open up the lines. If you'd like to give us a call, you can call us on the Wits End Classic Barbershop hotline. Uh, Jason is the owner of that uh, fair establishment. He cuts my hair every day. And um, he's a fine young man, a good patriot. And uh, he can he uh, is the guy who sponsors all of our phone lines. So you can give us a call on our uh, Wits End Classic Barbershop hotline at 257-1111. Or if you are outside our local area, uh, you can get us. You can get a hold of us at the toll free number, which is eight six six five five four six six three six. Good morning, caller. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Mister Evans. You just answered all of my questions. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow morning. I didn't know we had any questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you answered a lot of questions, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow morning with my donation. And I'd like to know. This studio, are the materials you're going to need, like building materials, wood, uh, no, plywood? No, no, no. I, uh, um, all right, so for the record, and that's a good question. Thank you for asking it. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a studio uh, in my home, and it, and it takes – it's more hard, hardware than it is construction. I don't need to physically build a room. I've already got one. My son now is, is – um, you know, he's, he's – out of the country in Afghanistan, 90% of his time, the, few, the little bit he's back in here, he's got his own place. And so I've got a spare room that I can, that I can set this up in. And essentially, and by the way, this is very commonplace. You, you look at any of these talk show hosts that you see streaming uh, their show, from Rush Limbaugh to Mark Levin, these guys all have a studio in their home. And essentially, it takes a lot of computers, which I already have, and that's the good part because they're expensive. <laughs> and um, then, you, you know, you have to build, you have to, you know put it up with a board you've got to have a mixer board that enables you to have sliders on there so you can you know bring in music when it's supposed to be and bring in a caller and those types of things and these boards are not inexpensive if you're gonna i mean there's there's three and four and five hundred dollar boards out there that are you know um barely adequate and then there's professional level equipment and you know the problem of course with radio is that you want it to sound decent i mean when you have broadcast radio like this the sound is different than you know what you would get if you were just trying to record it off of a mic plugged into your computer right and so the the that equipment is not inexpensive i mean these microphones are three and five hundred bucks by the time you get the boom and the swing and the scissors so that you can move the thing around you know these this is this stuff isn't inexpensive and that's the kind of thing that i'm going to need to acquire and purchase i already have a lot of computers and um, I, I'm, a, I'm a geek at heart, and so I've got a lot of PCs that I can dedicate to the purpose, and I've already got them. And so I've probably got about, about $5,000 worth of computer hardware that I will already put into the network. And so that part of it's done. And that's, to be honest with you, that's one of the biggest expenses. Um, the fact that I already have them is just a blessing that I, you know, I'm, I can put them to good use. Where I do need help is in, there's a box that you have to do to bring in multiple phone lines so that people can call. There's microphones, there's boards, there's, you know, all these different, uh, there's, there's hardware boxes that you have to get so that you can connect over the internet to other stations and that kind of thing. Those kinds of things are not cheap. <laughs> I mean, they are relatively speaking. I mean, it's not like any of them are 10 grand. Uh, the days of satellite and having to buy a five and eight and ten thousand dollar satellite receiver and paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for its services, those days are over, thank goodness. But um, you know, because I couldn't afford to do it if I had to do that, you know. But uh, I don't need to actually construct a room. I just need to put the equipment in it. Right? The house is built. I just need to furnish it. <laughs> so, sir, I will. I will be in there 
in the morning with my pledge. Uh, love you for it. I'm I'll grateful to you. Thank you so care. much. All right. You bet. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break, folks. We'll be back in a minute. If you'd like to give us a call and chat about this, or if you have questions about it, please feel free to give a call. I'm going to dedicate the rest of today to going over that. There's a lot of news out there, but this is important news for me, and it's important news for you because you listen to this program every day. We'll be back in just a moment. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. The first public comments from three women held captive for a decade in Cleveland. I want to thank everyone who has helped me and my family through this entire ordeal. Amanda Berry has a six-year-old daughter with the accused kidnapper, Ariel Castro. She, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight all spoke on a videotape put out on YouTube. Castro has pled not guilty to 329 criminal counts. The country music star Randy Travis still in critical condition. According to the singer's rep, he is suffering from a condition stemming from viral cardiomyopathy, a disease that weakens and enlarges your heart muscle, and it can lead to heart failure. That's Latoya Selman with Fox 4 Dallas. Travis is 54 years old. He would uh, admit it to the hospital on Sunday. Investigators are looking into an earlier fire on a tanker train that derailed in Quebec Saturday, killing at least 13 people, 40 still missing. Fox News, we report, you decide. Get a hold of Brian down at Ozark Mountain Self-Reliance. You can call him at 870-492-4030, or you can find him on the web at OzarkMTNSelfReliance.com. Located a half mile east of Walmart and Route 62 in Mountain Home. My friends over at Chantilly's Artisan Bakery at 255-2253, number 2 Evans Arcade Off Square in West Plains. Best damn bakery in 100 miles. You can reach Mary at 255-2253. My friend Bill Stone over at Stone Construction at 293-0116. Whether remodeling or doing new or custom construction or light commercial, Bill's the guy for you. 293-0116. West Plains Pawn and Gun, located on Route 160, just about a mile east of Walmart on the right-hand side. Westplainspawn.com. You can also reach them by a telephone at 417-256-3000. Friends over at the Battery Station at 303 Washington Avenue, right off the square in West Plains. You can find them on the web at BatteryStation.com, and you can call them at 417-257-7799. Also, don't forget to stop by Pizza Hut for an outstanding lunch special between 11 and 2. Salad and pasta all together. You can also visit them on Tuesday evenings for family night. Kids eat free under 12. And... Jason over at Wits End Classic Barbershop, sponsor of our telephone line. Make sure that you see Wits End Classic Barbershop for your next shave and haircut. Outstanding, fine young man, and a great patriot as well. He's on the square in West Plain. The media is destroying itself on all fronts. It's on fire. But that's why this is called the blaze. It's a purifying fire. Stand in the flames of the truth. It will purify. And what is real will stand. What is not will burn itself out. We're happy to pick up the smoldering pieces and dust them off after they've been purified and put them all back together. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Weekdays from 2 to 5, it's Glenn Beck on the Ozarks Best News Talk 1071. Weather sponsorships are now available on News Talk 1071 The Point. Get more information, email info at diamondmediaradio.com for complete details. From the Point Weather Center, for this morning, a partly cloudy sky, mixed clouds and sun to the day. Slight chance for an afternoon or evening thunderstorm, a hot day with a high of 94. Partly cloudy otherwise tonight, low 74. Mostly sunny tomorrow, the high 94. Not as hot Thursday with sunshine, high 88. I'm meteorologist Jim Minaldi. For more information, visit my1071thepoint.com. You don't even got to talk about it. I mean, it was insane over there. It was, it was crazy. Can you name that movie? Born on the 4th of July. It's a winner. Thanks. Who, appreciate it. You bet. You can ask me that question. Who's your favorite radio station? Who's your favorite morning show? But then oh. it'd be a little arrogant if you would say, you know, Cooper and Company. All right. My favorite morning show is Cooper and... <laughs> Join Cooper and Company weekday morning 6 to 8 a.m. here on the Ozarks Best News Talk, 107.1 The Point. And catch this week's movies at 735 with Patriotic Movies. For this week's for theme. this week's theme. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to open our phone lines. If uh, you'd like to call in and uh, talk about the issue here, or if you have any questions about it, if you'd like to understand more about what you can do, uh, by all means, feel free to give a call. 
Um, if you have uh, if you have access to uh, uh, br- broadcast equipment or if you've got a connection in that business, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can give us a shout here on our Wits End Classic Barbershop hotline at 417-257-1111. Alternatively, you can call us toll-free at 866-554-6636. And uh, we'll take your calls and, and uh, talk about this issue or anything else that's on your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I do want to mention that there's a, a you know... A lot of folks that have stepped up to the plate over the course of the last couple of years and supported this program in a number of ways um, and supported, you know, our, our efforts. Uh, and I want to thank them uh, from the bottom of my heart for, for what they do. Um, many folks, it's just working and sharing. Some folks have supported us, you know, financially. Sometimes it's just a simple $20 handshake somewhere at a, at a place where we bump into each other. And um, I got to tell you that that's – that's um, I understand how, how – uh, some folks, uh, that's that's a lot, and um, I got to tell you that I'm I'm impressed and I'm touched by that. So, good morning, caller. Welcome to the show. Morning, Mike. It's Mike. Good morning, Mike. Slightly different subject, but I did want to thank you for the talk you gave and the help you gave last night. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, that was a fantastic meeting. We had <clears throat> Neil counted seventy one people. Outstanding. That was down at the Spring Dipper, folks. Uh, the the property rights coalition group met down there at the spring dipper last night uh which is uh the second monday of every when, every month right mike exactly and um last night peter kinder lieutenant governor peter kinder came down for a for a brief discussion uh he was there for about a half hour and kind of brought everyone up to speed on on what his involvement was and with the blue ways and the dor and a number of other areas uh also uh, uh jeff pogue was there jeff is the representative for that area in the state house of representatives and um, he kind of articulated uh, the issues about where he stands on a lot of what's going on with our nation. Uh, and then also uh, Jason Smith's office had a representative there who kind of answered some questions about where he stands on some of these issues from a federal perspective. And um, it was a good opportunity. I'll tell you, that was a standout crowd last night, Mike. So yeah, it really was. I Very well informed. I don't think there's been a, a larger audience there for that for, than that meeting. And no. I got to encourage you, folks. If you're not a member of these property rights coalition organizations, there's one in Thayer, there's one in Mountain Grove, there's one down in uh, Salem, Arkansas. And if you guys are not a member of one yet, or you don't attend any of these meetings, you really ought to be because they bring in speakers, they bring in guests who will talk to them about. Um, you know, whatever topic is, is current and, and, and important about property rights and, and your ability to be sovereign and independent in your property ownership. Uh, in addition to that, there's the Campaign for Liberty group that meets the uh, third Wednesday, third Thursday, excuse me, of every month. And they meet here in West Plains at uh, Chen's Garden uh, from 6 o'clock onward. And again, uh, Don Eagleman runs that group. Uh, I've seen folks in there, you know, 40, 50 people. The room was so full people were standing outside and so that's kind of a libertarian group and if you're not a member of that or or one of those types of organizations you've got to start participating people i know it's sometimes difficult you got to break away and you got to get out there and meet and and go to these different organizations and groups but i got to tell you like-minded people need to be meeting together on a routine basis and talking and sharing and working together you know great minds only you know one mind is great 10, 20, 50 minds all thinking on, on one issue, noodling on how to f- fix or solve a problem, that's immeasurably valuable. And, Mike, our speakers last night actually drove quite a ways. Peter Kinder came from Cape Girardeau. Right. That's a three, almost a three-hour ride, I mean, if you sit down and do the math on it. Jeff Pogue came from Salem. Yep. And uh, Ro- Ro- I'm sorry, Ross Branson, the fellow with uh, the chief assistant to Jason. Yeah. Came from Jefferson City. Yep. And, uh, so if they can drive that far, I think. Sure. You know, if they can drive, drive that far, you guys can make it from your local community and areas, right? So, exactly. You know, one of the things, Mike, we should probably do at some point is offer to stream some of these show these uh, events too. That would be great. Um, I, you know, I own that streaming channel, and so that I stream AVN on, and there's really no reason why we couldn't offer that as a streaming option for. Uh, you know, for uh, folks who can't make a meeting or live too far outside the the meeting to be able to to take advantage of it. Um, that's part of what we're looking to do here. There's some equipment that we need, 
camera and video equipment, and then there's some software that we need, which is all part of the studio thing. And once we have the ability to have a camera that is kind of portable, uh, we would be able to do things like that. Even if it's just set up a tripod and stream the darn thing and, and hook up a room mic, uh, then people would be able to watch this irrespective of where they are. So That would be wonderful. Uh, Jeff Pogue said something last night that I'd like to repeat. Sure. Uh, he said when, when he called to confirm he'd be there, he said he was coming to meet his employers. Yeah, and he used that phrase quite, a, quite frequently. I think every office holder should feel that way. Absolutely. And, I, I, you know, it's encouraging to hear a, a representative come in and say, you're my employer and I'm here to give you an update. <laughs> exactly. You know, not I'm your master and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> so uh, I absolutely wholeheartedly agree with his approach to that. And um, I'm encouraged by his enthusiasm for the job. Um, you know, I... I, I he and, and Sean and a number of other freshmen, Robert Ross and a couple of other folks, have really kind of um, stepped into that role, and they are going in there with the right attitude. You know, I've stated repeatedly we need citizen legislators who are going to be willing to be swallowed by the dragon and then once inside pull out a sword and start slashing from the inside. And I, I have to tell you, I'm impressed with some of the actions of them. Um, I, you know, I, I mean, they're human too, and then they, they can have foibles and failures, but... Um, at least they're going in there with the right spirit and heart and mind. And we found out from him last night how to make sure there is a veto session of yes. the legislature. Yep. Uh, I'll get the contact numbers and get those posted. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we put that up on Facebook. Essentially, folks, what he said is that we need to make sure that we are bombarding the Speaker of the House and the, uh, the Senate pro tem with demands that they override the veto of the Second Amendment Preservation Act and also the um, Paycheck Protection Act, which is a kind of an interim step to right to work. And so... Um, and the Agenda 21 Act. And Agenda 21. I mean, all three. So the goal, of course, will be for us to... And we'll get some information out to you in the next uh, 24 hours. I may even talk about it tomorrow and give you the information for those of you who don't have Internet access. But the idea is that we should be bombarding them with telephone calls and, and emails and handwritten letters and faxes to let them know that we are not going to stand for the governor vetoing the most important legislation pieces that have hit Missouri in the last couple of years. So, well, thank you for that update, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Folks, if, uh, if, if you can, uh, you know, work with us on that arena, we absolutely must get uh, this gov- the, um, the House and, and Senate to override the veto on those, those multiple bills. The uh, Second Amendment Preservation Act, which was unconscionable that he would veto that. Uh, this, the second one is the Anti-Agenda 21 Act. And then the third issue is paycheck protection. That You know, they touted, back when, before the session began, and even before the election, uh, Tim Jones, the Speaker of the House, came down to, for a bus tour. And I kind of pinned him down and I said, look, we need right to work in this state. And he said, well, we can't get right to work passed because there's too many of these legislators that are in union uh, footprint markets and they won't go against their constituents. And they're, they won't get reelected if they do. And I said to him, well, I have to tell you, if, if you're unwilling to, be, to do the right thing, even if it costs you your role, then I've got no use for you. But what they did offer instead of right to work was a kind of an interim measure which says that the union, even though you can be forced to join a union, the differences between paycheck protection and right to work are significant. Right to work says the union can't force you to join in order to retain or get that job. Okay, that's the way it works right now. You join, you get a, co- a job at a company, and if it's a union company, you don't have a choice. If you want to work there, you got to join the union, and you got to pay your dues, and you got to do this and that and the next thing. Right to work says the un- you cannot be forced to join a union just to get the job. And they got that through in Michigan, folks. So how we can't get it through in Missouri is beyond, my- beyond me. But be that as it may, they said, well, we have this half-step interim measure, which says you can, um, you can you be forced to join the union, but you can prohibit them from using your dues to support political candidates you don't like. And so that's called paycheck protection. In other words... Uh, you can say, I don't want my dues to be used to support Barack Obama or Claire McCaskill or Jay Nixon, right, in a political campaign. Well, that passed, but the governor vetoed it. So, you know, I mean, 
That just tells me, by the way, that when the House says, well, we can't get it passed, we're going to have to take some compromise measure. That's, a, that's proof positive, ladies and gentlemen, that compromise just doesn't work. Because when you give these people an inch, they will take a mile every single time. They will never accept victory because that's not good enough. They don't want you to surrender. They want you surrendered, cowering, begging, licking their boots. And even that's not good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm just totally awestruck by a governor who would veto paycheck protection. Frankly, if, if I, I, I don't think we should have gone fit for paycheck protection. I think we should have gone for right to work. And that will be my uh, demand of Senator, Senate and House this session, session going in. The hell with your paycheck protection. Go right for the heart with right to work. We'll be right back. The Battery Station in West Plains is your headquarters for getting and being prepared. Natural disasters, civil unrest, personal and family protection, long-term sustenance, and most importantly, peace of mind. Berkey bottles and home size water purification systems, survival food, MREs, freeze-dried food, survival knives, lanterns, ammunition, military sleep systems, and of course, batteries of all shapes and sizes. Take charge of your own survival and security. The Battery Station, 303 Washington and West Plains, 417-257-7799 or BatteryStation.com. Hi, it's Hugh Hewitt on the next Hugh Hewitt Show. Earlier this week, Senator Hoven of North Dakota made news by telling us there really were no double fencing in the immigration bill. Yesterday on the Hugh Hewitt Show, John Campbell made news by announcing he was retiring from Congress at the end of this term. Who knows what's going to happen on the next Hugh Hewitt Show? Tomorrow's news tonight. Sundays from 6 till 7, following Money Talk with Bob Brinker, it's the Weekend Journal with Hugh Hewitt on the Ozarks Best News Talk 107.1. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. Call 877-509-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. So, disable the cable and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 877-509-MY-TV. Right now, to sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and up to four rooms. And there's no equipment to buy. That includes your free HD TV upgrade, your free DVR upgrade, and your free professional installation. And the best part, the pristine digital picture and sound. Call 877-509-MY-TV. So, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit Call 877 my tv 877 my tv Disable the cable, cut costs, and get more. Call 877 my tv 877 my tv I'm all for just cutting the cable, period. <laughs> um... Uh, if you have an opportunity uh, this month to uh, get your concealed carry, uh, now that they're no longer scanning documents, it's important for you to do that. You can get a hold of our friend over at BlackOpsSchoolOfCombat.com. His name is Greg McLaughlin. Uh, highly skilled and well-trained uh, uh, pistol pistol uh, and, and uh, craftsman. And uh, I would encourage you to reach him at 255-1612. You can also find his website at blackopsschoolofcombat.com uh, or call him at, again at 255-1612. The uh, class that he holds is an eight-hour program as mandated by law. It's uh, $75 per person. If you bring five people with you, your class is free. And so that's a pretty great uh, opportunity for folks to go out there and get their concealed carry. And um, he does have uh, weapons available, so if you don't have both a revolver and an automatic, or you don't have either, or whatever the case may be, uh, you can give him a call and talk to him about that. He does have some weapons available for you. Uh, make sure that you see our folks, our friends over at SpringCreekBeef.com, uh, 100% grass-fed beef that is all natural, uh, just like it was grown uh, or raised 100 years ago. Uh, there are no hormones, no antibiotics, no grain, 100% grass-fed, and they ship around the nation. And so uh, you can get a hold of Jane over there by visiting springcreekbeef.com. Uh, we recently built that website for them, and uh, uh, we're waiting for some, uh, some uh, new images to come back from their professional photographer, and we're going to be updating some of those as well. And I think you'll, you'll be impressed with the quality of that, of that beef. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what, she's had it tested by a laboratory, and it came out uh, restaurant-grade quality. Um, 
you know, I don't know all the different USDA rankings and all that, but um, this is full of omega-3, uh, very, very low in fat, and it is outstanding and excellent tasting beef. In fact, uh, we eat it at our household all the time. So um, if you want to know what's in your food supply, go to Spring Creek Beef, unless you grow your own. <laughs> and uh, she'll make sure it's available to you. Now, she also has a freezer down at, at uh, Battery Station uh, on Washington Avenue, so you can go down there and buy it locally. Uh, you can get like a pound of chopped meat or whatever the case may be, or there's steaks and chops and all kinds of things in there. Uh, you can get a hold of the Battery Station at 257-7799. If you need directions, they're at 303 Washington Avenue in West Plains. Kevin, by the way, while you're in there, has a bunch of brand-new fifty caliber ammo cans at $10 a can. And uh, that's a cheap price for those. They're very, very hard to get these days. And so um, for your uh, storage and things like that, that's a great opportunity for you to take advantage of that. Also, tonight as is family night at Pizza Hut on Porter Wagoner. And uh, so this is Tuesday night. They're, it's family night. Kids under 12 eat free. And so this is a great opportunity for you to take your family down and inexpensively kind of uh, spend a night around the table as a family. No television, no interruptions, no phone calls ringing, blah, blah, blah. Right? So look up Bree when you get there. Uh, she is the server there, and she's also my daughter, and she'll be more than happy to take good care of you. Just let her know that uh, her dad sent you in. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead, caller. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, good morning, Mike. Good morning. Hey, uh, I think your studio thing is a great idea. I'll be in to help out a little bit with it. Well, thank you. Um, Thanks. Uh, but I had a question. Monday nights, Thursday nights are awful hard for me to, to make. Uh, the Blue Wave thing, um, uh, does that thing go into uh, a, a United uh, Nations Blue Wave? Or, uh, you know, I'm hearing all kinds of things. Yeah, I, it's actually not. They don't call it a Blue Wave at the United Nations. But, yes, that plan. And, by the way, folks, the Blue Wave is not dead. OK, I mean, it may be dead here for the purposes of the White River watershed basin, but uh, it, under the title Blue Ways. But let me tell you something. There's a longer range plan. And we found if you go to PRCnews.org, uh, Doreen Hannes, who joins us every Friday, she has posted up a uh, link to a memorandum of understanding that actually is supersedes the one that they withdrew from. So I got to tell you, even though we may have won this small skirmish, uh, the battle and the war are still on. And make no mistake about it, you got to get over to PRCnews.org. PRC is P, P like Papa, R like Romeo, C like Charlie, news.org. You can also go to truthfarmer.com. That's Doreen's uh, personal blog. And um, you'll find stories about this Blue Way thing on there. Essentially, there are a couple of international groups that have pre-designated the areas that the blue ways are actually using to label under the blue way. And, um, uh, you know, they'll come back with this and they'll just change the name to something else. Don't forget, this is still the same pro program that they tried in the nineties called man on the biosphere, right? All they did is change the name to blue ways. So, and before that it was riverways. <laughs> I mean, all we're waiting for now is what's the brand new name they're going to come up with blue sky. So yes, you're absolutely correct. We, you know, they've, pulled the designation for the Blue Ways. We want the Department of the Interior to kill the entire Blue Way project nationally, not just here. But in addition to that, make no mistake about it, folks, they're still coming for this land. They're just going to do it under another name or under another program, and it is our job to be on the lookout for exactly how they're going to do it. We just don't know yet what they're going to call it. So what do we need to do now as uh, the Joe Blow out here sitting on a little farmland? Well, the first thing you can do is make sure that you stay informed. And that's and the only way that you're going to do that, and I don't have the time to talk about it on the show every day. So the first thing you can do is go to prcnews.org and get a copy of that new memorandum of understanding that is not only built and, and signed off by the United States, but also a bunch of the – they're taking direction from international uh, conservancy and conservation groups. There's a group out there called Ramsar, which is the absolute uh, death knell – to America. They want us to hand our sovereignty over and allow them to control, as an international organization, all of these huge swaths of land across the United States. Okay. That's what we're talking about. This is Agenda 21. They may not label it that because they know that it's a name that, that you know, br brings fire to people's eyes. But make no mistake about it, just because they don't call it something or they change the name to something else doesn't mean it's not the same thing. Right? Right. So, okay. 
All right, so that's my suggestion. Is first things first, get to prcnews.org and download that, that memorandum of understanding and read it, all of it, the entire thing, and look at the list of properties that they're talking about. These are places all over the United States of America. Then do your homework and go to that link for Ramsar uh, that's on there, and when you read the entire places, oh, the ty- entire list of places that they have, not only in the U.S. but around the world, you're going to be stunned. You're going to realize just exactly how deep, how far down the rabbit hole this goes. It's huge. Okay, thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Okay, folks, we're getting wrapped up to the end of the hour here. If you'd like to give us a call and you have some input or comment, please give us a call quickly at 257-1111 or 866-554-6636. Um, I'd like to make sure that you are... Uh, uh, working with our friend Mary over at Chantilly's Artisan Bakery because she is a huge supporter of our program and has been for a very long time. She's also the best damn baker you're going to find in 100 miles, and you can get a hold of her at 255-2253. She does do special orders, so if you want to have some kind of a unique treat or something for a family event or a company event, make sure that you give her a call. You can also find her at number two, Evans Arcade. She has great coffee, great pastries, great bakery stuff. Her bread is absolutely outstanding, but you got to get there early because once she's sold out, that's it for the day. So you can call her in the morning and find out what her specials are going to be. She also has a lunch special uh, that she offers uh, most days during the week, I think every day but Monday, and uh, not on Saturday, of course. But you can give her a call and find out more about it by calling 255-2253. Her name is Mary at Chantilly's Artisan Bakery, and she is an outstanding patriot who really supports us and supports our program. So um, <clears throat> a couple of guys who have been very, very instrumental in helping us are Jason Elkins Plumbing. Uh, you can reach him at 293-7640. And John Hatley, who does site development and driveways and things like that. John's done a lot of work for me personally. Uh, a couple of years ago, he did some driveway work for me and and uh, concrete work. You can get a hold of him at 293-8229. That's 293-8229. And Jason, who's a uh, owns his own plumbing company, at 293-7640. Those guys are all dedicated patriots. And uh, I can't tell you often enough how many times I bump into somebody and they're like, um, hey, you know what? We just want to buy you lunch or, um, you know, we want to we want to do they do a ten dollar or twenty dollar handshake and they support this program. They help spread it. They help spread the word. And uh, I got to tell you, it's patriots like that that make me feel like it's worthwhile doing this program. So um, we are going to ask for your assistance over the course of the next coming uh, couple of weeks, folks. We've got to make this move. There's a couple. Uh, the, there's a few different reasons for it. We're not only expanding our programs and making a commitment to grow the show's reach, uh, but we also uh, there are also some other motivating factors behind it. And um, in, in coming weeks, we'll be talking more about those. This is a program that will enable us to expand the reach of America's Voice. Now, it will make sure that you have a mechanism, but to continue to remain listening to America's Voice now every single day. And it will also enable us to, uh, to keep you informed and educated about what's going on around you. So um, as you folks know, there's been uh, some ownership change here at the station, and we want to make sure that uh, we're prepared so that we can continue to, to uh, keep America's Voice up and operational for you. And uh, you can help us out by going to our website. You can make an online donation there uh, through our, a PayPal account, or you can do it through a credit card. Uh, alternatively, you can drop a check off here at the radio station. The station actually is located at number 10 Court Square. If you can't drive in, you can mail it in. It's number 10 Court Square, and that's in West Plains, Missouri. Uh, 65775 is the zip code here. And um, you can just put on there America's Voice Now, address it to there, and I'll make sh- they'll make sure that I get it up at the front desk. It will also set, uh, be working to set up a, an account with uh, probably West Plains Bank. And so if you want to just walk in there and make an anonymous donation and walk up to the counter and, and uh, make a donation, they'll do an automatic uh, deposit into the account, and we'll be able to uh, utilize that money for the development and the creation of this uh, studio. So I want to thank those of you who are uh, dedicated and steady followers of this program. Tomorrow we'll get back onto a more normal uh, news-breaking schedule, and we'll be talking about some of the things that – matter to us here, including some of the uh, the current uh, stuff that's going on with the House on Immigration, and um, we'll make sure that we're back on track. You can catch us at americasvoicenow.org. You can also find us at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash America's Voice Now. And you can also jump on and capture this and every other program that we do uh, on our, uh, our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash America's Voice 
now. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the morning. We are, we are the Ozarks' best news talk, KBMV Birch Tree.